Not too bad. Uh, you were speaking to uh, Virgin Media Sport earlier about your corner situation. Uh, could could you enlighten us about what exactly is happening? Of course, these travel restrictions have uh, have stopped um, John Kavanaugh coming over. Um, could you could you tell us who's going to be in your corner on Friday night? Yeah, so travel restrictions, as you said, have have kind of scuppered my corner plans a bit. John is not dead in the water yet, but it's unlikely. I would say he's coming over. Um, mm-hmm. A sail as was supposed to come from Paris, and again, travel restrictions have have stopped him. But I always have backup done it. So I've got James Gallagher flew in from California yesterday. Um, so he's here for me now. So James will be cornering me 100%. Of course, we saw Pedro Carvalho had pretty similar issues uh, when he fought last time out. Um, what do you think this is, is? How do you think this is going to affect you going into this one? Because this is undoubtedly the biggest fight of your career where there's so much on the line against uh, an opponent the likes of which you, you really haven't um, haven't been in there with before. So, so is it has it been a distraction, or are you laser focused at this point on getting uh, on getting Patricky people out of there early? Yeah, it's not going to affect me. I have James there. James is one of my best friends with a long time. That's really what you find, what you want when you go into a fight. You want when your friends with you. Um, it's like when you were a kid and you were going for a fight in the, in the playground. As I said, the Virgin Media Sports. You want your friends to show up, but you they can't really help you. But you want them to walk out with you and be there for you. I'll have that. So I'm fine. I'll be fine in that fight. Um, it's not really going to affect me at all, Donna. Thank you very much, Peter, for that. One more for me, if if I could, uh, about um, this rivalry, Pitbulls versus SBG. You're finally getting to, to have this fight. There's obviously, there's been the one before with, with like I said, Pedro against um, against Patricio. Uh, how do you feel now about uh, Patricky Pitbull. It's been so long since that that famous press conference in New York, where you, you faced off. You were supposed to fight ar- around October last year. Uh, it, it's such a different circumstance now. There won't be any fans. It was supposed to be a packed arena. How do you feel now about uh, your opponent, Patricky Pitbull? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's like yeah, like like you said. It's been a long time. Um, I think when I see him now at the win, I might spark it all again. Maybe <laughs> so. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But like you 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 forget all that kind of thing that happened in New York. It's been so long. So, but really what I'm focused on is, is not even this rivalry thing anymore and our personal differences or whatever is there with us. It's the implications of a win here is what I'm focused on. Um, that has taken, you know, taken, taken over for me. Um, like if I beat him, I'm fighting his brother and it'll be for the belt. That's, that's just a fact. That's how it's going to go. So this is the biggest fight of my career. It has the biggest implications of any fight that I've ever had in my career. Um, so that's what I'm laser focused on.